Hello everybody and welcome to another Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Let's Play video. This is another video for your host and today Link's leg is stuck in the in the stairs. Uh, I hope that's not uh, hindering his performance in any way that would really suck for us as well as the rest of the world. Um, so I guess that now that his leg is not stuck and that he's fine, let's go ahead and go grab... Oh wait, well, we can't go that way. Let's go ahead and go get... Um, the the hidden skill that is over down yonder that I'm not excited about going to get. Do we really have to get up that waterfall? Um, I don't know how we're gonna do that. Is there a way down? There is, but I don't really want to go down there. That would be tedious. Um, is there any way with like the claw shot to get up there or something? That would be quite useful. That would be helpful. All right, let's go ahead and uh, turn into a human, blah, 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 and let's just see what there is. Uh, does not look like there's anything of use for us, so I think we're going to have to... Mm, I pressed down, darn it. Uh, we're going to have to warp, 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 thank you, Midna, for actually listening to me that time. Not over there. We're going to have to warp up here, uh, which is fine. You know what? For hidden skill, we will do almost anything. If we had to die for hidden skill and lose the adventure, I would not do that. That would be really, really stupid. Alright, and we're gonna drop, and of course they're, oh no, they're all afraid of the wolf. Ah, uh, just kidding. They're probably not. They're probably like, oh, there's a wolf here. Uh, let's go ahead, and I'm not actually not sure, is there a specific side we have to be on? No, there's not. We can just float down the river. So let's go ahead and get out of this little menu place, because we don't have to be there any longer. Sorry, my audio is kind of quiet. I just don't like the... K I hate those. They're really annoying. Hey, let's go ahead and float down the river. Woo! Sploosh. Jump off the waterfall. That was amazing. And just swim, because we we just don't care, and because we can swim pretty fast as a wolf. And we can run faster. Uh, run. Run, 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 run. Again, because we can run faster, but... I just, I press A over and over again, and it's like, I'm just gonna wait a second, then I'm gonna run again. Whatever, it's okay. So, um, let's go ahead and just, what way, do, what way do we have to go? Map. Let's check out our map. We have to go, what is it, this way? This way. Wee! Okay. So, I was thinking about, uh, doing a let's play of, oh, darn it, there's a stupid thing there. Uh, doing a let's play of Pokemon, um... XD Gale of Darkness, because I feel like that's a pretty cool game. Let's not do anything right now. Let's just see. Can we even get over that wall in any sh way, shape, or form? It does not look like it. How are we going to get there, then? Um, The only way I see is right here, and so we'd have to go this way under the land and then across the bridge and jump off the bridge here. So that's what I'm going to see if that works. Um, Let's just look. So we have to go this way, I'd assume. This way, okay. And so, I, I, I mean, I'm thinking about that. I think that would be a fun game to do a Let's Play on. Oh, come on, Link. Get to the other side. There we go. Uh, just because it's kind of it's kind of like a Pokemon Coliseum game. And uh, it's for the GameCube. And GameCube games are amazing. So let's go ahead and jump through. Woo, jump through this little guy. And just see if this works. I'm going to see if this pathway works. Because we want to get the hidden skill. We have to swim up the river. That's just going to be super tedious and annoying. And plus, we can't even do that because we can't get over the waterfall. So, you know. And that... Um, water looked like black sludge. That's great. Let's go ahead and hop out of the water because we don't need to be in here much longer. I'm actually going to go out this way because it'll be faster to our destination. Go ahead and get out. And again, no, not the items. Look at the map because I'm not a mappy person. I'm just, or no, I'm not a direction person. I'm, I'm good at looking at the map, knowing where we're supposed to go with that. But I'm not a super good. Oh, you are frightening, and I think I'll just like take you out. Oh, that's rude. That's super rude. I don't appreciate that, buddy. So this is, oh oh there you go. That's how you're supposed to take these guys out. Just spam on A and then bite their neck. That's good. Are you? Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll grab your money. Um. And also I got a comment uh, from somebody saying that you needed a thousand rupees to get that guy to give you a piece of heart. And I'm like, what am, what are you doing? I think that's rude. And that you should uh, you should give me just a piece of heart just because just because you're a kind-hearted man. And that oh my goodness. And that would be nice nice of you. But no, and hello, oh my gosh, those things jump so far. I'm not really sure why they, why they jump so far. What the heck, why is this so far? Oh, oh, we already passed it. Um, 
Now I'm confused. You know what? That's rude. So, just, yeah, we go. Get away. Get out of here. That is just rude. Rude stuff. <clears throat> um, so I don't, I don't suspect that there's a way from here. Let's just look at the map one more time. So, yes, we can't jump down there. Uh, there's no way past this. Um, unless, of course, we talked to the lady here. and She might give us a pass through. And then this doesn't really... Oh, that could. Mm, but there, I'm pretty sure that's blocked, so we can't get through there. We can't swim up this, because that's a waterfall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport up here, back to there. And Link was walking. He was doing a pretty good moonwalk. I, I'd have to say that was a very nice moonwalk. Uh, we're going to come up here, and we're just going to see if that lady can open up the gate for us. Uh, I'm not sure. But if not, then we're going to go do the... Uh, wrong way again. Uh, we're going to go do the challenge where you have to pop all the fruits. And we're going to see if we can get a piece of heart out of it. Because um, I don't, I'm actually not sure how well I'll do. Because I don't know what the high, highest points are and what like, the best route is to do that. But, you yeah, know, that's all good. Whee! We can jump off again. And again, miss that, barely missed that Zora. He's lucky. That is one lucky Zora. And it just takes so long to get down here. Why do you just... Why... I'm actually going to swim because that'll be way faster than running, I'd assume, because the current is pulling us, so that's always good. And then as soon as we get um, into the main river, it's like, whoosh, and we just go super fast, and that's that's just nice. Dun -dun -dun. Come on, current, pull us faster. And we want, to, we want to talk to the lady. Lady, we want to talk to you and see if you can open up that gate for us. Uh, let's transform into a human when she can't see us, and go ahead and roll over there. And, uh, there's a bridge. Oh, wow, we did that perfectly so she can see us right behind the rock. All right, go ahead and speak. Hmm, the customer, sorry, but we're temporarily closed. You're kidding me. That is just rude. That is rude. You're a rude dude. Even though you're not a dude, that's still rude. Okay, well, I guess um, the only thing we can do is, uh, wait a second. Can we, uh, warp? And, um, no, 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 no. Yes, we can warp down here. Okay, so that'll probably be the fastest way down. Uh, just because it'll be the, the fastest way down to the bird challenge. And plus, we need to be a wolf for that anyways. So we can keep ourselves uh, as a wolf and go ahead and go to the um, the fruit challenge that pops balloons. And that is rude because this bird guy is like, Oh no, you need a high score and then I'm not going to let you get a high score. And that looks like a chest up there. Is that like really... No, I'm not sure what that is, and I'm not really sure that I care right at this moment because we want to do the bird challenge. We're going to jump, and we want to get there as fast as we can, so we've got the most amount of time. Ten minutes to do this bird challenge. Let's see if we can't do it. Uh, can we walk on this? Yes, we can. But only if we run perfectly. And again, run on the top. Make it faster. Very nice. Speedy. All right. And let's howl. And then up, and down, and up. And down, and he's like, "Oh, I'm just gonna do a little howly dance, and we're gonna, we're gonna go to the bird that summons, and it's giant, and it was evil, and it was Twilight, but now it's not, cause it's." And also, I got, I was just really thinking about this, and I feel like the bird who's giving us the challenge is that bird's. It's either the bird who sells oil and potions, or it's like his cousin, okay, because they both do business. Except that's not really business, is it? It's just kind of like, see how high you, you can get. See how, how many points you can get. So I'm not really sure that I'd count that as business, but I mean, I, I guess you could assume that's business. Also, I noticed that we're flying up this waterfall. Um, I don't, I, I think that's the waterfall that we're supposed to go for the wolf. Hmm. Well, I guess we can find him in here somewhere. Which is, doesn't make any sense if he's in here, but whatever. Alright, so we've got ourselves some kind of combo here. Alright, let's get ourselves another orange. Then dive low. Which, oh gosh, oh gosh, hit, hit a watermelon. Hit that watermelon. Woof. Oh, I think the strawberries are... Oh yeah, the strawberries are worth the most amount of points. Okay, I remember now. I remember now. And of course we missed that strawberry. Whatever. It's not like we're going to get any kind of combo from this. Oh, wait a second. That's a strawberry combo. I think those are like, we're 10 points. So let's just keep flying. Yes, 10 points per strawberry. Look at that. And that combo. Oh, man. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I missed that. I missed that strawberry. 
We need to get... What? I totally hit that strawberry. I think Midna might have to hit the strawberry. Avoid that. And go dive down and hit for that. 80 points. That is nice. And let's see if we can't... I dash ahead for this. And um, go to the left for some more combo. I think the highest amount of combo you can get is... Oh, gosh. We died. Um, well, we got a 7 combo. That's pretty good. Um, not really sure. I think that's, I think that's bad. I'm not sure that you can, I think you might have to dash through that. Ooh, that's tricky. Well, I mean, we've always got more time to do this. And, um, he's like, oh, well, that was pathetic. Blah, 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 blah. That was so lame. So I want to go, yes, I want to go again, you stinker. Oh, that makes it easy. We don't even have to summon him and, and listen to Link Howl. Okay, that's nice. All right, let's go ahead and just go ahead and dash as fast as we can just to get a little bit ahead, um, work ourselves up on that time limit, and uh, dash again to go. Um, I was going to make it so that the wings weren't so far out. Kind of dashed into the top. I'm horrible at this. I think it was easier when we were in the twilight and there were arrows shooting at us instead of trying to collect fruit, which is really weird. I'm not really sure why that would be easier. And he's like, that was so lame. You know what? You were egging me on, dude. And he's a bird. He was egging. Mm. Okay. That, that that was stupid. But I still think that he shouldn't be rude about our skills. And that this is not as easy because we're on a giant bird and he's a flipping tiny bird. So, dude, you just, you just don't even know. You don't even know how much harder this is for us. Oh, okay. And get this watermelon. And get this uh, watermelon. And actually, we want to go for the strawberry because that'll be more points than the watermelon. Even if it is a triple watermelon, still be more points. Now let's go ahead and dive down for these watermelon com or these strawberry combos. And uh, of course, we missed that because you got to hit it with Midna, not Link, which is super super annoying because then the the wings are like super wide, and you're like, oh hello. And it's just annoying. Okay. Oh my gosh. Why do, why do you torture me so? Hit that strawberry. Dang it. Alright. This should not be so hard. It just is. Dash. And then go to the left. And then let's see if we can't do this. Dash. Oh my gosh. 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 That was amazing. That was so good. Was so good. And miss that for the strawberry. Because if we can keep getting these strawberry combos. I think it'll be way more points than hitting watermelons. So... All right, um, hit this strawberry combo. Holy poopoos! Dang it, we broke our strawberry combo. Oh well. Oh my gosh! 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 Strawberry! Strawberries! Strawberries all the way. We need these strawberries. Don't hit the roof, Link. Don't hit the roof. Don't hit the roof. Don't hit the roof. Too many times. Don't hit the water. Don't hit the water. Oh my goodness, this is so stressful. You're so hard to control, Mr. Bird. Um, I really, really like. Really, you are. But we got a lot of points from one strawberry. Go down, go down, go down. Hit that. Oh, my gosh. We hit that strawberry. I hit that strawberry. Well, I guess we can see what we got. Because um, I'm not really sure what you have to get to get the uh, to get the piece of heart. But I know that he does offer a piece of heart. So, Alrighty. Because I think he'll say his like prizes after. Hmm. That many points. Really, you haven't shown me anything too amazing yet. Nope. So, want to go again? Yes, we do. So, we know we gotta get over that. We gotta get, like, every single strawberry. I think it's, like, 10,000, so we were nowhere near. But if you can just keep getting the strawberry combos and just, like, hit nothing else, I mean, you're in business. It's really easy if you can just hit strawberries. Because there were 10 points, and then the combos rack up super good. So, let's go ahead and grab this watermelon just for one extra point. I mean, heck, might as well. Might as well grab these extra points. Um, but again, so again, strawberries are worth a lot more. But you gotta hit them with your head because, oh goodness, uh, because Link cannot grab strawberries with his not opposable thumbs. I, ah, that is just so hard for me. Why, why do you torture me so? I'm hitting these dumb strawberries. I think that you should give me the points. Oh my goodness, watch out for that watermelon. And hit, again, hit the strawberry. And dash ahead to this next strawberry. Let our dash recharge for the next little area that is sort of hard. And go ahead and dash through here. 
And we missed that one. That's okay, though. That is all right. Miss that. Avoid that watermelon. We don't want to hit it. We want to hit the strawberries. Because look at holy crud. We already have a better score than last time. I think you lose points for hitting stuff. Um, I really do. Avoid this. Avoid this. So, avoid that. Avoid the column. Thank you. Thank you, Link. Um, and I prefer not to dash just because... Uh, then that is like super hard on me, especially in this tiny area. And ugh, I hit that darn strawberry. What is up with this strawberry thing that hates me so much? I'm really not sure. I, it's either 10,000 or 50,000 that you have to get it above. So let's go ahead and dash and hit this last strawberry. I don't know if you have to get every single one, like just as a strawberry combo. I think that would be really hard. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. That would be a really hard combo to get, though. I did miss a couple, though, and my combo would have racked up faster. I'd hit the other one, so... What? No way. That many points. You got more... Th oh! 10,000. But don't think I'm giving you this because I like you or anything. We got a piece of heart! I thought it was 10,000. We got, like, way over that, too. So you're completely hooked now, aren't you? You need to go again and try to beat the high score, don't you? I'm not really sure if you give me anything else. So no, I really don't. Ah, I see. If you if you told me that you gave me another piece of heart, then I would definitely go again. But I think that it's just a trick, so I don't really want to go again. All right, and um, I mean, I guess this is pretty much this whole entire episode because we can't go get that. Uh, we can't get the golden wolf because you can't jump down right there into the water. Um, this way. Oh no, Castle Town. Castle Town is open. Where's the portal? Okay, so. No, I don't want to portal to Castle Town. Okay, well, I guess we're portaling to Castle Town. I was going to zoom in, but I don't think it lets me zoom in. That's great. That's just wonderful. Uh, I think that the, my, the back way might be open, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn back into a human, just for convenience of not scaring people half out of their wits, and um, also just because I don't think people will accept me if I'm a wolf. I think they'll be like, oh, no, a wolf. We better kick him out or call the guards or something. That would be bad. That would be bad for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need one more heart container for the first row to be full, which would be cool. Um, again, this episode was going to be getting to Arbiter Grounds, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Oh, yes, we, we can no donate some more to this guy. If you would, for the sake of peace and Hyrule, yeah, dude. Okay, so that's great. Goodbye. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves... A pathway down to the bottom, to the bottom of Castle Town. And, wow, look at those guards. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. These guys would be super frightening if we were a wolf. They'd be like, oh no, there's a wolf. And they'd try to stab us or something, and that would be rude. Hopefully these doors are open. I think that they won't be. Uh, let me just look at the map, see. Come on, map, load up. I think, that actually, they might be open. There's, um... Oh, come on, come on. Oh, -ho! they are open. This is actually good news, because I think this is how we're going to get down to the the um, hidden skill. Let's go ahead. And... Yeah, this is it. Um, and we, again, we have to be human for this, so... Alrighty, that's nice. There's a flock of birds over there. I'm not really sure if they're going to attack me or not, but I'm not going to take any kind of risk. Let's go ahead and look at the map. Just see... Oh, look at that. We're going the right way. And, um... Oh, there's a chest up there. Can we get up here? Can we? No, we cannot. Can we get up there somewhere else? Somehow, somehow. Um, I'm not sure where the wolf is, but for now, we're going to try and get this chest. Can we jump up on this? No, we can't. Can we? How do you get that chest? Oh, there's a Poe. Um, let's go ahead and transform into a wolf and get that Poe. I guess this is kind of a more of a, a random episode. A random. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, I told you. Jump, Link. Jump. Thank you. Uh, jump again, and let's go ahead and finish this guy. Wukong! And I'm surprised uh, Link can bite that, seeing that it's a soul, and I guess you can't really touch... Well, you could touch a soul, but not a spirit. You can't touch a spirit. And also, this is a bug. We need to transform back into a human to grab the bug and to get the hidden skill. Alrighty, let's grab the bug. Pick up the bug. I love you have to swipe down to grab the bug. A female ladybug. That's always nice. Always a nice bug to add to the collection. And let's check out down here. I guess we've got enough time to get the hidden, where is it, map. Am I, am I in the wrong spot? I don't believe I am. Um, 
Okay, we've got enough. We've got enough time to grab this hidden scale. Let's go ahead, because I don't think it'll take super long to grab it, except the howling part of the end. Except you don't howl, because that's with the the stone. So let me just shove my uh, neck into your head. That's great, and we will get on with our hidden skill, learning with our flipping awesome master sword that looks so beautiful. All right, we meet again. This next. Uh, this next is the greatest of the hidden skills I have taught you to this point, and it may test the limit of your endurance. You wish to master it? I do. Very well, but before we begin, I must test your... Okay, the back slice. No, come at me. I'm pretty sure I remember this one. So, you're supposed to go like this. All right, you're supposed to go... Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Um... What, baby, baby. Oh, right, there we go. So, you have to, like, L target, go around... A and then B. So, excellent appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. We are, but yeah, we're not the best yet. Right, my fourth hidden skill is the Helm Splitter. This one is cool. This is an awesome hidden skill. Oh, it's just it's just like amazing. It's impossible to circle around and perform backslice against fully armored enemies that move swiftly in combat. Against such against such foes, you must first use a shield attack to make them flinch, but then quickly press A. You will leap into the air over the enemy's head and greet them with their your blade. By immediately striking them from behind. So, ooh, that, that, that was close to death. You could have killed us. This is the helm splitter. Show it to me. Alrighty. Ting. It's amazing. Our beautiful sword. Alright, shield attack. And then, ooh, helm splitter. Alright. Uh, oh, oh. And we're supposed to finish. What ails you? Right after the helm splitter is the perfect time for a sequential attack. If you get behind an enemy, do not hesitate. Alright. Oh, whoops. Um, no, 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 no. Like that. Then, because spell ammo when we hit him, and then we're like, we've got to charge up our spin attack, which, which doesn't really make any sense. Hmm, impressive. You do not miss your chance to land a helm splitter with A after your shield attack. The fourth hidden skill, the helm splitter, has been passed on. Ha chow! That's, I mean, that's just such a cool hidden skill. And then he has got to do his cool sword put away, and he's just like, I'm so cool. I look at you very, very, um, with a look of amazingness. There are still three hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training. Oh, we forgot our daily sword training. We can do it at the end of the episode. Because uh, he reminds us to do our daily sword training. And we wake up on the ground. And the wolf is gone. So, let's do our daily sword training. Alright. I'm pretty sure we're pretty trained in the art of swords. That's great. I'm actually going to roll right in front of uh, Hyrule Castle. Because it looks pretty cool. And I'm not really sure what that guy is down there. But I'm... What is that? What is that guy? Is that a Goron? Looks like a Goron. We're not going to go down there yet. Because I think that's the way to Arbiter Grounds, but I'm not really sure. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this episode of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. If you could, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate the support. And I will see you in all in the next episode. Goodbye!